Department of Education this week is holding its second summit to combat bullying. It is a nationwide problem, one you have heard more and more about in the past year or so, and was painfully highlighted again this week in western New York with the suicide of a high school freshman. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano has his tragic story. Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York, and I'm just here to tell you that it does get better. 14-year-old Jamie Rotemeyer had been bullied relentlessly since fifth grade. In May, he posted this video. He'd found comfort in an online support group for gay teens. I have so much support from people I don't even know online. I know that sounds creepy, but they're so nice and caring, and they don't ever want me to die. But Sunday, Jamie's parents, Tim and Tracy, found his body outside their home. All the girls just loved him, and they always defended him. But all the boys would say, geez, you're such a girl. Why are you hanging out with all those girls? What are you, a girl? Oh, you must be gay. He was harassed by online insults. He saw counselors to try to deal with the pain. You were born this way. Back in May, he had hope, inspired by singer Lady Gaga and her message of tolerance. Hold your head up and you'll go far, because that's all you have to do. Just love yourself and you're set. But just weeks ago, that optimism seemed gone. He posted this online plea for help. I always say how bullied I am, but no one listens. What do I have to do so people will listen to me? As word of his suicide spread, Lady Gaga tweeted, I have so much anger. It is hard to feel love when cruelty takes someone's life. For a young kid of 14 and a half, he had a big message, a huge message that shouldn't even have to be a message. It should just be common decency to not make people feel worthless and useless on this planet. Tracy Rotemeyer will bury her son Saturday in a Lady Gaga t-shirt that reads, Born this way. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Buffalo, New York. The website Elaine mentioned providing support for gay teens was created by the It Gets Better Project. The group's co-founder, Dan Savage, joins us now. He has been a tireless advocate to stop this bullying, to give kids some hope. Dan, it's good to have you with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, Jamie is just this beautiful kid in that video that he posted, so full of hope, so full of life. And then, as you heard, uh, Things changed for him in the last few weeks. His mom said he had a big message, but it shouldn't have to be a message. What would you say to her this morning to so many teens who may be watching Jamie and what happened to him? Well, my heart breaks for Jamie's parents particularly and his friends and other people who are there for him and, and giving him support. This is a tragedy. The idea behind the It Gets Better project was for LGBT adults who'd been through bullying themselves, who understood and could empathize to share their stories and their, you know, joyous adult lives. They're, they're, they're with these kids to give them an idea of uh, the future that was possible for them if they could hang on. Uh, but sometimes hope isn't enough and sometimes the future is too remote and sometimes the bullying is too devastating and too extreme. And those times, they just, they break our hearts. But in his pain, you know, I don't think when you watch Jamie's It Gets Better video, he's clearly speaking to other kids, uh, trying to offer them encouragement. But he's also clearly now, we know, speaking to himself mm -hmm. and trying to encourage himself to hang in there. But even in his pain, he was reaching out and trying to help. Um, and we need to follow his example and continue to reach out and try to help and not let Jamie's tragic death uh, make us feel hopeless or, or, or despair or give up. You, you bring up an interesting point, and this is so true, I think, especially for any child, and this is not even just about LGBT bullying, but any child who is bullied, when you are at that age, everything happens for you in the moment. Sometimes the future does seem too remote. So is there a message in the present that you can give someone to get through today? Well, we, we encourage people, a lot of other youth have made videos, it gets better videos, peer-to-peer, -peer, talking to each other. And we, one of the things that people need to know is that if, the, if a child is saying that bullying is so extreme, uh, as extreme as the bullying that, that Jamie endured, that you need, we need to change their circumstances. A lot of the videos created by young people, by high school age kids in the It Gets Better project, discuss how to get your GED, if that's what you need to do, to get out of there, to change high schools, homeschooling for LGBT kids who are being bullied. It can seem like you're mm -hmm. handing the bullies a victory when you pull a queer kid out of a school where he's being harassed, but that's sometimes what you need to do. Homeschooling is an option 
for bullied kids and secular kids and queer kids, right. not just for fundamentalist Christian kids. Dan, great to have you with us this morning. And again, uh, for anyone who is not familiar with it, log on to itgetsbetter.org. Thanks again. Thank you.